Hello everybody from our beautiful campsite here in Idaho. We thought it would be a great idea to give you a two week update on how the ride is going. This is day 14 right here. Allie, why don't you start us off? Uh, how's it been going? It has been a wild adventure and it has been surprising and exciting and really challenging in a lot of ways. The first week was tough. I would say that, yeah, it was even tougher than I had imagined. I didn't know completely what I was getting myself into. Um, definitely, you know, this is my first tour and um, it was hard. Yeah. Yeah. But you've been a good sport. Emotionally, mentally. Um, yeah, I mean, I would say we definitely like, you and I kind of butted heads at the beginning. That was We the did. Thing. A lot of you were asking about the fight that she mentioned in one of the earlier videos. And the first week was, we knocked heads more than I mean, we're only into four months into our relationship, and our little argument fights were the first time we really have ever had any drama. Yeah. And so, um, for me, I kind of panic in those moments. I'm like, oh my god, the ride just started and she already hates me. Is this, is this it? Is it over? Is this the way it's going to be for the rest of the trip? I don't know. But, you know, we've gotten through it, and we've learned a lot. Yeah, we had our first fight, actually, the night before we left. Yeah. That was... And then we had a big fight... Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't call these fights. It. Fights is a very uh, aggressive word. Oh, we had, okay. we're, we've had some arguments. We've definitely. Like, we're not raising our voices. We're not screaming at each other. We're not calling each other names. But we're definitely. There's some moments where we're we're, we're button heads. And very uh, frustrated with each other. And a lot of it is just. I think was a getting to know each other. And part of it was PMS. I mean, <laughs> ladies. I don't know about you, but. When it's that time of the month, I kind of, at least mildly, dislike most people around me. Um, <laughs> I don't want you to take all the blame. <laughs> Obviously, I can be very bullheaded and stubborn, and I've done a lot of bike tours, and I do them in the way that I do them. And it's been a learning experience for me, too, to have you along and be like, okay, I can't do it the way I've always been doing it, because you're with me. And obviously, you have different needs and wants. And so that, I think, we've just kind of, we just had a couple, we had it out a couple times, but not nothing bad. It was and stressful. I mean, the beginning of the trip is always stressful. Yeah. But we got over that. Out. The last week has been wonderful. And um, let's talk about the people we've met. Yeah. That has certainly been one of the treasures. We came out here, we came on this trip uh, hoping to meet lots of wonderful people along the way and have intimate conversations with them and that is just blown me away how um how well that's unfolded how beautifully that's unfolded we and have how just... randomly it's all happened <laughs> you know sometimes we'll be at a cafe and meet some people who are eating next to us and they start asking us questions about what we're doing and then it develops into this full-on conversation that lasts two hours you know? And then sometimes an old farmer pulls up on his ATV and starts talking to us. Yeah. And then sometimes it's the conversations we have with our friends and yep. watching, I don't know, um, them talk about love with each other and, and having them um, allow us into that space with them. It's mm -hmm. really special. And one thing that I didn't expect before going to this trip is I think we're giving people an opportunity yeah. to talk about love in a way they probably haven't shared with their partner in a long time. The vulnerability that we've witnessed, I mean, just, you know, the motorcyclist we were talking with today, he's, you know, tearing up while we were, um, while we were talking about love with him and he was sharing his, the story of his 20 year relationship. And yeah, those moments are just really remind you of everything that is beautiful about humanity. There've been many times on the trip where we've gone the wrong way or we get frustrated or it's just hot. And when we have these conversations with people, it immediately snaps you out of your own self-pity. And it just, it puts you in a good mood. And I think it also puts them in a good mood. And you have this beautiful human experience together. And then we go our separate ways. And we may never see these people ever again in our lives, but we've shared these very short, poignant moments. And those are the memories that I am already cherishing. Some of the people we meet, you know, they're like tough looking Harley bikers with leather and they're all gnarled out and you could very quickly judge the book by its cover. 
But once you open up a conversation with these people, they're just like you. Just because they look different doesn't mean they are different, right? And I can say there are certainly have also been times when that love advice that they've given us has been put to immediate use. That's true. <laughs> and But we've been spending 24 hours a day, every single day, in a fairly, I don't want to call it stressful environment, but there's a lot of decisions to be made. We're, you know, we're riding tons of mileage. We're navigating, we're getting food. She's gluten-free. Some of the stores in the middle of nowhere don't have any options for her. So there's a ton going on. And on top of all that, we're trying to have a relationship and get to know each other better. And uh, wow, it's been a ride. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wouldn't hesitate to say it's a stressful environment. I think like we are, I mean, the physical stress even just of cycling 50 to, you know, up to 100 miles a day, uh, that's a lot, it takes it out of you. And at the end of the day, you're exhausted. Especially, I mean, maybe I will speak for myself because this is new to me and I'm pushing my body I'm pushing my body pretty hard. You know, the first week was tough, especially I was bleeding. Um, and when you have your period, riding a bike, as I discovered, for long hours is really uncomfortable. Um, and you know, you just constant cramps because like you're, you're holding your core really tight and so you're just, it really exacerbates all the crampage. So that on top of developing all these new muscles and we didn't, we took one rest day in our first 10 days. Um, and my I don't, legs I don't want you to think max. I'm a slave driver. <laughs> you guys are all probably watching this be like, Ryan, why don't you just slow the hell down? There is a schedule, somewhat of a schedule to keep. So, <laughs> and, and my MO with these rides is I wake up and I hammer out huge mileages. And so I'm really having to dial that back. And it's been, it's been fun to, to go slower and it, it opens up this experience to whole new, uh, moments. Some of the landscapes we've seen have been stunning, obviously. Starting at the coast, it was a cloudy day, beautiful, riding along the water, and then going into the Pacific Northwest, how lush and green it was. We got on that gravel dirt road in the Gifford Pinchot Wilderness. Yeah, we have just seen some incredible places, and honestly, I don't think we would have seen half of them if we weren't doing this route in the fashion that we are, that is, not having a map, not having a plan. Taking that approach has really opened up the possibilities that, yeah, we meet people along the way, they say, there's this amazing hot spring over this way, or, you know, try this dirt road that ends up going to nowhere, but you see some amazing wheat along the way. <laughs> yeah, we've seen a lot of wheat. I've never <laughs> ridden past a wheat field in my life until this trip, and they're really beautiful. It's just like golden fields of wheat for as far as the eye can see. I would say the most stressful moments for me on this trip have been technology. The riding the bike part is great. I love that part. But dealing with three cameras, breaking drones, trying to edit at nighttime, and that's been the hardest part because I'm riding my bike all day and where we finish riding and then we set up camp and I try to get on my computer for a little bit or on the rest days when I'm supposed to be resting, I'm really just editing for 10 hours. That's been the hardest part for me. And that's something I want to work on as we go forward because I want to be present with you and not be like, okay, rest day, sorry, I'm going to sit in this garage all day and you go have a good day. Um, the whole point of this trip is to share this together. So I'm working on that, but I also, it's a balance between sharing the stories with you in somewhat real time so you can follow along. That really means a lot to me. And it means a lot that you guys are loving these videos and commenting. I can't thank you enough for all the support you're giving us. I mean, like I said, look where we're sitting. We're riding bikes every single day. That's the great part. We get to wake up and ride bikes every single day. Absolutely. That is, that is a really good gig. And if, if it comes with a little bit of stress for creating content as we go, that's just the way it is. I mean, this is a pretty damn good job. I'm pretty happy with, with this situation. I couldn't yeah. be more grateful. Yeah, it's amazing. I'm super grateful as, as well. In fact, I wake up every day and I'm just, I'm just so grateful that you invited me along on this trip uh, and I'm here with you. Seriously, yeah. even on like the harder days of the beginning, beginning of the trip, I'd still wake up and be like, this is amazing. I really hope you continue watching our series. We're, we're loving doing it. We're loving sharing it. And we want you to be with us all the way across the country. So thank you so much. I love you guys. I think you're totally awesome. I'm so grateful for all, all your support and all your comments. And I'm sorry if I haven't had time to respond to all of them, but thank you.